Hello and welcome back to Wolf Quest. Today we are picking up right where we left off. My name is Ferasti and we are playing with the Teru, our Ultra Koi Wolf, who is facing all the challenges of an Ultra Iron Wolf. Plus, uh, she has a low diversity mate, but is also mateless, and she has to move dens frequently. So we're just getting back off of a den move now. We and the pups are pretty tired, but let's go ahead and do a quick check-in on their weight. So we are starting off with the Shimmer, one of our first pups at 7.5 pounds, and Aspen at 7.2 pounds. We'll check out the pups in just a little bit here, uh, but first and foremost, let's go ahead and go to sleep because we are tired and we're gonna probably have to be out for a little while to shore up some of our territory since it they get pretty big and therefore hard to maintain. But we are a little bit injured still from last time when a cougar smacked us in the side, so we are also suffering with a minor body injury. Wow, flus are already up to 7%. I think we'll still have enough food to feed them, but I'm not liking all of those dog scents here, honestly. Guys, please. I'm gonna feed you right next to the den here. Shimmer, you are so far away, sir. I'm really hesitant to go into pup cam just with all of this dog scent so we're just gonna do this real quick but first up here we have shimmer who's a little bit bigger of the two but not by much he is a light gray sandy coat pup and we have aspen who is dark gray especially around his bum he's lagging behind a little bit and is very very adventurous so honestly, that's all there is for the pup recap because that's all the pups we have. It's a little bit less exciting than having seven, if I'll be honest. This is the smallest litter I've ever had on Wolf Quest, like even just to start off. So it's a little weird. I feel like I failed somehow already, even though Honestly, these guys are going to get some of the best care possible, since there's only the two. Aww. We'll play with them a little bit, though. I'm also not smelling those dogs anymore, so hopefully they're leaving us alone. Oh, that was so cute. Our affinity is looking better, too. Much, much better, honestly. All right, we're getting the lock and smelling coyote, so we'll go ahead and wolf them on in. I think our next general goal, I'll probably just move then at the start of the next episode. I think that's probably just going to be a pretty good compromise here. So today we can focus on just reinforcing our territory and maybe getting something else to eat. It's not extraordinarily pressing just yet. What is all this? Oh, Maraca. I wouldn't say no to Maraca. Is it up here or? No, it's further away. Well, if it's like right here, I won't say no. And if it's a little bit farther out, I might have to sit up here. Okay, well, Maraca might be eluding me. I don't really want to waste a lot of time since we do have a ton of ground to cover here. So I'm gonna head on down and around and I'll catch up whenever fun things start actually happening. Oh, that lucky pack uh, potential quarter is back. That's fun. Probably not gonna take you up on that offer anytime soon, but maybe eventually. Okay, after taking a kind of an efficient route, honestly, I have now shored up all of the lower and some of the right hand side. I'm gonna come back, grab the 60% up. I kind of want to swing up here this way if I could, but after looking at it, our 
wakefulness is bad and our affinity is rapidly declining. So I think it probably just makes the most sense at this point to head on back and grab that on a future day, a different uh, territory conquest, or just, you know, trying to multitask and hunt and get that at the same time. Just due to the nature of how a Teradu operates, sadly, we kind of usually have to pick or choose one or the other, and just whatever we get from Teradu is kind of passive, just because she chases everything for so long. It's just kind of a necessary evil, though, of having, you know, at least negative two to every single stat. But this was the last goal post here. So we're gonna head back, shore up what we can. I wanted to sleep twice, but looking at our hunger, we can't regurgitate for the pups, so if I can get a couple of easy rabbits, I won't say no. At least just enough to regurgitate once per sleep. If that means one sleep, great. If that means two, even better. And then yeah, I think we'll just kinda play it by ear. But our next goal, in any case, is going to definitely be hunting. We're still the terror of rabbits, even though we're going to be trying to hunt bigger game in general. Food is 78%, so that's maybe one regurgitation for the pups. Hey guys, I know. We were gone forever. I'm not gonna regurgitate for you yet. think you guys will be okay. Don't like that we just reinforce that. I know you guys are excited, aren't you? Shimmer. Where are you going, bud? Aspen's just rolling around. You're so cute. We can play, we just gotta play a little bit closer to the den where you're not gonna get your AI confused on buildings. Where a cougar can just come out of nowhere, grab you, and run away before I even know what's happening. Rolly polies. Okay, they don't really seem to care about mom all too much. I'm going with mom into the den again. And we will resume this once we've woken up. Okay, looks like our injury's healed. Definitely not gonna say no to that. Minor injury to our body has healed. And I definitely don't think that we are going to be able to regurgitate even once for them. It's not ideal, but it's okay. Go ahead and get our affinity up a little bit, and then we'll go out hunting. Hey guys. Hunted on worse than this. And at least now we won't have to be fighting the injury. I know guys, you're hungry. I'm hungry too. If only they could actually eat some of the bones and antlers we brought back for them. Of course, if they can't even eat meat, then how can they eat bones, but... <laughs> wolves can get a lot of nutrients out of some things that you would not expect them to be able to properly consume. Okay, guys. I know, you're hungry. Can't really afford to waste any more wakefulness playing, I'm sorry. I'm gonna try and head north so I can grab this central part of the territory at least and hope we hit an elk before then honestly I think an elk herd is still gonna be our better shot even over like mule deer and stuff because elk have the trip and fall mechanic and they're more directly designed to wear down with a wolf chasing them like those guys there's basically no way I can take them down they're too fast, and even one bite will require too much stamina out of us that we just don't have. So, yeah. 
That being said, now that I'm actively looking for an elk herd, though I'm probably not going to find one. And I have come to peace with that. It just is what it is. I just wish that Lady Luck looked at me differently. I also wouldn't say no to a rabbit. Seems to have disappeared into oblivion, though. Could just be some issues on my end with rendering or something, though. That's definitely a rabbit. I would like to get something more substantial, but I'm not going to say no to any amount of food if that makes the difference, you know? Another bunny. I've not seen hide nor hair, pun intended, of anything else, so... Okay, there's a faint elk herd scent there. And now our territory is basically where it needs to be. All the important pieces are strong anyway. I just don't know about pursuing this because while it smells strong, I don't know how far away it is because it's so few scents coming back. Usually elk herds are a lot more dots than that. That being said, I don't know that I'm being presented with any other choices. This is the only thing along the scent trail that I'm going to be able to find, I think. I'm starting to get drowned out by the bull elk herd now, though. Hmm. I think I might actually have to call that one. It really does stink. I'll see if I find anything on the way back, but I'm not going to really seek anything out. I'm just looking at the wakefulness, and I don't think I can take anything down before I start to really suffer negative effects. And then that means it takes longer, and then that means affinity drops even further than it already has. What is that? Oh, it's a muse. Yeah, I don't want to... Don't want to touch that. I'm trying to find this den. <laughs> Looks like it should be right over here. There we are. New den discovered. Bunny. Looks like we're eating rabbit tonight. And of course, as we get over here and I resolve not to go chasing any more herds, there's a lot of scent right here. What is this? Female dispersal wolf. She might be with the herd. Either way, at least she's not a danger to the pups, so... And of course, that hair I was after is right <laughs> next to the den. Hi, guys. Do I have enough to regurgitate? No, I don't. I'm sorry. Get back in a den. I'll go snag a couple rabbits and grab a drink, and that should be enough for at least one more. Hopefully. Okay, after rabbit and drink, our food is 86. Should be good for one, maybe two regurgitations. I'm gonna try and get the pups up to full and play with them. I find a rabbit back, well, that's the ideal, but I don't think it'll make or break anything either, so all good. Okay, pups, now I can come out. Hi, guys. There you go. Hungry, hungry puppies. Is that an equal? Better not be. <laughs> Eaten up. Is that enough? Yeah, it's pretty close. I'm gonna see if I can't get them all the way up. Or as up as they would like. Under stopping their regurgitation early actually leaves them less, or if it's like a decided amount regardless. They didn't really need a ton. Aw, that was in unison. These guys are so cute. Even if they are trouble. 
They definitely seem more uncertain. Whether that's just submissiveness or uncertainty. So I saw a shimmer look away and give airplane ears. Which I definitely think has to be a dad trait. We really didn't get to know him, so sad as that may be, we don't really know what kind of traits the pups are going to show. Aspen definitely seems to be more energetic or adventurous. And Shimmer seems a little bit more reserved, but in a lot of ways, their personalities are very similar. I'll look at Aspen with the bone. I gotta get a pick of that one. Oh, look at that. It's adorable. Are you guys being good? I have a feeling they'll be very, very close to one another. Okay, my wakefulness is getting to be very bad, so we'll go on with men. Then we'll go to sleep. Oh! Or not. crappy thing about this is we kind of just have to wait this out. Sorry I'm quiet, I'm trying to focus. It's also honestly just wondering if, um, you know, like we kept the pups in the den or like if one came out and we picked it up, would that be enough to discourage the eagle? Or do we have to explicitly chase it away? You know? Okay. Well, luckily the pups were tired enough that they uh, just stayed in the den. And now we can sleep. Okay, anything on the wind? That is smelling awfully close, and that smells like dog. Yep. I really want to find these dogs. A single dog. Is that the maraca? Geyser tonic. I think I found this before, but definitely not as a teradu. Can bring that back for the pups. Gosh, I hate how much dog scent there is here. And I do not have enough to give the pups any food, sadly. I think I'm going to embark on a very quick investigation. Our northern reaches are a little bit lacking on territory, but that's fine. We can let those drop off a little bit. We're not trying to hike out there all the time anyway. But we'll head off this way to see if we can catch anything. Ooh, grizzly bear skull. That's new. Look at how big it is. I'll take that back to the pups, too. Honestly, it's not like we can really hunt with it after all. So we'll bring it back to them. They can play with it if they want. It's like bigger than they are. And uh, go back to hopefully trying to catch some food. I'm not going to try and stay out too, too long. Look, guys. I know. I wish I had actual food for you and not just skulls and toys. I just really don't want to have to constantly be subsisting, subsisting on rabbits, you know? We want some actual meat for these guys' bones. Aww. They're being good sports about it, though. I know. Oh, Shimmer. <laughs> Look at Shimmer. Oh, God, that's so good. There's not a single thought in those eyes. I know you guys are hungry. Go back in a den. I just wanted to bring you some fun things and I will be bringing you food hopefully shortly. Ooh, very strong elk scent. We have to be like right there. Oh, it's two different herds. Copper and lead. Or lead, maybe. It's probably lead since I think they're all minerals or meant to be. 
guess we're gonna go with this copper scent more than anything. Try to. We're all kind of all over the place here. And yeah, they're like right next to each other. Oh, now the manganese herd is mixed in too. You have to be basically guaranteed to hit somebody. The question's just gonna be who and where. Looks like the... I honestly don't even know. Manganese went out. We were falling copper and lead and we got manganese. I don't even think that works alchemically. <laughs> okay guys, I really need you to flush quick because I'm tired. And I can't be playing the game too, too long. And the game is chasing you. Till somebody drops. Oh, hi, Coyote. I'd rather you be bugging me up here than that my carcass or den, so... That's fine. Oh no, you guys are running the wrong way! Oh well. Hopefully we don't go straight into Lucky Straws. I'm gonna try and steer them somewhere some way. I'm not really holding my breath on that front. Guiding them never ever seems to work. Although right now I'm not doing an awful job maybe. Yeah we really don't have a lot of room for this. But I accept- oop! Accepted that as a risk. She's a little strong still. It's a pretty early fall too though. Oh, hi. More elk. <laughs> Oop. Nope. 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 The wrong one. Wrong. Stop. Okay. She definitely seems even stronger than the other one. Wish we'd gotten a freer bite than that, but... Oh, well. This one's fighting. Yeah, I think... Ow. I think that's gonna be our gal. Just have to look for the opportunities or wear her down a little bit more. Because right now she's probably going to win in the sand off. Because we're a little too tired for this, honestly. Which means I need to make her more tired, you know? Honestly, with those other herds so close by, her AI may have split off from the manganese and she might be trying to make a beeline for some of the other elk. It's one of those things where it's like, once you kind of pick a target like this one, where they set off on their own, you have to commit to them. Because they're not going to be getting anything else. At least our damage on her is outputting the damage she's returning. Ooh, got throat bite. Unintentionally, but throat bite all the same. Of course, our wakefulness and therefore stamina are in the negatives. But we're getting good enough damage now. It might not matter. Just please don't camp in the water. That would be kind of annoying of you to do right now. This is like the spear and the shield. Except it's between two completely exhausted beings. <laughs> Who's going to tire out quicker? Like, will I get so tired I cannot even bite? It is possible. Nope, oh, nope, nope. Don't lose her. Oh my god, we swim so slow. Get across the stream. We are not losing this. <laughs> Am I even gonna do damage? I need I need to keep her aggroed on me long enough to get full stamina. Okay. We're gonna have to do this like one bite at a time. I'm just gonna prolong the suffering of both of us. Do not go back in the water, I swear. I think I'd rather you punch me in the face and get back in the water. Oh, we did it. I was gonna say firmly in our territory too, but we are a lot farther north than I thought we were. 
So let's go ahead and fill up and get on back to the pups. We were honestly a lot hungrier than I gave ourselves credit for because we are going to take like a quarter of this cow with us right now. Especially once we grab our little chunk. Now we're at a cross so I don't lose it. Okay. We're all set. Oh, that's a lot of dogs. I mean, you guys can have it. For now. I'd rather pay the dog tax to the elk than the pups. Okay, but we're now back on the road, so I'll see you guys back at the den, I guess, since it's a uh, ways away. Alrighty, here we are returning to the den, absolutely exhausted. But we have enough food in our bellies to feed you guys now. Don't worry, Shimmer, you both can get one. They honestly don't mind sharing, which isn't always true of the pups, I've noticed. Some of them get very jealous of pet food, so... It's kind of nice to see pups that don't mind sharing. That can also just kind of come back down to there not really being a need to be competitive. There's only two of them, and they both get their fill whenever we have the food to do so. So it's really not too much of an issue. I probably didn't need to regurgitate twice, but I'm so used to having to. That is very deeply ingrained. Alrighty. But I guess that's where we'll go ahead and leave it off here. I know we need to sleep, but the pups are awake. So therefore we're awake. <laughs> we'll play with them a little bit here. Uh, but thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have enjoyed so far. Thank you also to Parental Unit for supporting the channel, as that support is, of course, greatly appreciated. If anybody else feels like supporting me and has a means to, so you can check out links in the description for alternate ways to support me, as well as my other social medias, which I need to be better about posting to. <laughs> but otherwise, everybody... Until next time, stay safe, stay happy, I'll see you all then, and bye! Staring into my soul with blank eyes, no thoughts in them, and then runs away. Alright guys, till next time.